big welcome back to my channel. I haven't been uploading videos for about six months now and I do feel really, really bad about it. But um, in the last six months, I've had quite a few big changes going on. Um, the biggest of which is I have left university and I have retrained, requalified, and now I am actually a qualified makeup artist. So really fantastic big news there. That's what's been going on in my life recently. I did post a video not that long ago, which was a holiday skiing video where I tested a brow gel, which I'm actually still using. I still use it every single day. I love it so, so much. But to sort of kick things back off again, and really get back into the swing of filming, I thought I would do a what's in my bag video because I've been watching these loads and loads recently and I wanted to give it a go and have a bit of fun with it. So this is my handbag. It's big. It looks like this. <laughs> I like big handbags. So this right here is from Coach and it is called the Taylor Tote Bag and I've got mine in tan. And on it right here, I've got a little pom-pom. It's sort of ready burgundy colour. This is from Furla. Um, and I picked both of these up in Vista Village, which, as I've mentioned in a couple of other videos, is where I work. So it's got really beautiful gold hardware on it. And it's got two long straps so it can sit over your shoulder. And it has the option of a crossbody strap. So inside it, in the... Uh, this is so big I can't actually, this is so big I can't actually pick it up. So in the front pocket right here, I keep my mobile phone and I have the, that's Katie my friend, I have the iPhone 6S and my very sparkly phone case on the back here is from Swarovski. So inside the main body of the bag, it looks like that. There's a lot of stuff in it. Um, so at the front right here, it's got two little compartments here, and then at the back, it's got a zip compartment there. Um, so I have a very strange method of handbag using handbags because I love to chop and change my handbags all the time because I have so, so many. I end up switching my stuff over all the time, but this coach one that is over here out of camera angle is the one that I use most at the moment. So first things first, in my handbag, I always have this. This is a little leather pouch with a wrist strap um, and it's from a brand called Co Coccinelle. Coccinelle. Um, it's an Italian brand, again, got this in Vista Village, got this ages ago. Um, but what I keep in here is all of my handbag everyday essentials that I 100% have to have. Um, so this can go from bag to bag when I swap them over or if I'm just nipping out the door I just take this with me and in here I've got my purse my purse is this beautiful burgundy color and it is from I don't know how well you can see it's from Burberry so it looks like so got cards here here um, cash pocket there which I don't really use because I don't really carry much cash on me and then just another zip pocket with all my change in it and it's beautiful burgundy leather and on the inside on the fabric it has the classic burgundy checks and a load of receipts in it because I always forget to throw them away. It's got tons and tons of space in it because it's got flaps like at the front and here and here and back here. Like you can fit so much in it. I don't use all of it by any way, shape or form. Next in my little coccinelle bag is a notebook because you never know just when you need a scrap bit of paper. I found I always seem to end up using them so this is what I have and my mum bought me this um, for a joke and it says from now on I promise to try harder at work eat more greens and att attempt the gym and shop less brackets well maybe not that last one he <laughs> he because that is very true for me I love shopping I'm not gonna deny it I absolutely love it I work in retail I work in high-end retail I can't help it I like buying things <laughs> Um, also, in my little pouch, I have a diary. This one is from Paper Chase, and it's very, very simple, sort of a week to a page, and it's leather bound, which I really, really like. I love carrying a diary because I prefer to leaf through it to see what I'm doing rather than entering it onto my phone. just doesn't quite work for me. I love physically having a diary. Next up in the pouch of many things is this. This is a card holder that I was given for my 21st birthday from some family friends. Um, 
And in here I've got a couple of extra cards like loyalty cards and things like that that I don't really want to keep in my purse because I haven't got room for them and I don't use them that often. I also have my business cards for my makeup artistry because, you know, I carry business cards now. <laughs> Up next in the pouch of many things is a hand cream. I always like to carry a hand cream around because I have predominantly very dry skin all over my body including my hands which really get battered from being washed all the time and you know working so I always carry hand cream and this one is the new one from the body shop which is the almond milk and honey one which is for dry sensitive skin so really enjoying this so far actually it feels so beautiful on the hands um up next in my pouch is this and this is my little nail kit um so it's just got some clippers nail scissors tweezers and a file in there and I find that I'm always splitting and tearing my nails. I don't know why they're quite weak. I'm always using like nail conditioning things on them. It just doesn't seem to work. But I always have that in case I accidentally split, split or tear a nail. Or if anybody else I know splits or tears a nail, really helpful to have. Then I've got headphones. These are from Skull Candy. Just any old headphones really. Not that fussed about them. And um, extra hairband of course because I've got loads of hair. And then finally, there is this little gizmo, which I absolutely love. It looks really weird, but you unfold it and it looks like that. And it's a table hook for your handbag. So you put that on the top of the table and then this sits underneath and you just hook your handbag on it and it just hangs underneath the table so you don't have to put your handbag on the floor. That was a little Christmas gift I got given and I think it's absolutely awesome and so much fun. So that's everything that's in my everyday pouch bag thingy majiggy. Next up is the, the good stuff. This is my makeup bag. Again, this is from Burberry. Again, picked everything up that is designer in Vista Village. Did not pay full price. Um, so in here, which is probably what you guys are gonna wanna see because this is a beauty channel, is my everyday makeup bag. And when I put this together, I deliberately did it so that it was makeup I knew I could create a look with really easily um, and I knew exactly the kind of effect I was going to go for so these products I've had for a long long time bar maybe one or two and I know can give a really nice look it's not a big dramatic look but it's something that is workable every day and I can dress up a little bit so first up is the Tarte Showstopper palette and got a massive mirror in it which I love but also for the products in here, because you've got all these eyeshadows here, which can create a really nice sort of day look with maybe these two here, just in the crease and then on the lid. And then you've got other shades, which, sorry, that mirror's bugging me like heck. Um, and you've got these other shades, which you can do a much more dramatic look with. You've then got the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, which are quite famous for, which you can sort of do a little bit of contouring with, not great on me but I make it work. You've then got this blush here, one of the famous Amazonian clay blush blushes. This is called Fame. And then you've got a highlighter as well. So this is a full face look in one palette and it's not a bad size to travel with either. It's quite compact, which I love. I love full face palettes and this is why it stays in there because it's all in one. Up next, I've got my holy grail. I love, love, love this stuff. If I could never own another foundation, ever in my life I would own this one. This is the Laura Gala Balance and Brighton and I've got the shade Porcelain. I think I have about three of these. I just love this so much. Holy grail, can't live without it. Just, oh, I love this so much, so much. Up next, oh right, yeah, the Clinique Chubby Lash Mascara. I really like this mascara because it doesn't smudge, it doesn't smear. It gives really nice definition and volume to my lashes but it's not like a felt false eyelash mascara. I just really enjoy the effect this gives and I know it's reliable, I know exactly what it's gonna do and that's why I have it in my handbag. Uh, da -da -da -da, up next, oh, that's it. Um, lip liner, this is Max Boldly Bare Lip Liner. Again, it's a really simple nude lip liner. Just can go with everything, underneath anything. Really, really easy to use. I love this one, that's why I have it in there. I have, should have four, I have four brushes in here. Um, which are these ones. I have the Real Techniques, what is it, base eyeshadow brush, and I could, you can actually use this to blend out a crease, which is really nice. So I think find this is really good for just blending all over the eye, and then if I'm packing on a shimmer shade, I just use my finger. The Real Techniques setting brush, love this for highlighter, highlights really beautifully. 
Real Techniques Multitask Brush. You can use this for blush, contour, sorry, bronzing, whatever. Really useful brush to have. And then with all the writing rubbed off, this is the Laura Geller Retractable Brush. And this is what I use for the foundation because if you're doing it all over the face, you can have it nice and loose. Or if you just want it to like sort of add coverage and conceal, it can go shorter like that. Love that. Oh, concealer is the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer. And then this is in porcelain, which is the fairest one. I recently, more recently discovered this and I really love the coverage it get, gives. I love the effect it gives on the skin. It just looks beautiful. And because it's in this brush tip, you can just put it on like so, and it's so easy to use. I can use it on a really natural day as well, but I can still build up the coverage. So I'm really enjoying that right now. What else is in here? Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, this is new. This is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. And I've got the shade Auburn. This is new. This is slightly cooler tone than the NYX um, Micro Brow Pencil in shade 3 Auburn that I've got on at the moment. That matches my hair a little bit better. This is when I'm going for a slightly more natural brow day. It's a little bit more brown toned. I'll just do a quick swatch on the back of my... Oh, that's rubbish, isn't it? That's it on the back of my hand. So it's a little bit more brown tone. But again, it works really nicely with my brows. Gives a lovely natural brow effect. Really enjoying it. Oh yeah, this is the one eyeliner I have in here. This is Max Stubborn Brown. Again, really nice brown eyeliner. Can smudge it out a little bit. Just add a little bit more drama if I'm wanting a bit more of a heavy look or just trying to top up throughout the day. And then lip products, because it's me and I'm obsessed with lipsticks. I've got the MAC Prep and Prime Lip Thingy. This works really well as a lip balm, absolutely love it, and also preps your lips for lipstick really well. This is a limited edition what lipstick from MAC. I've got no idea what the collection is called anymore, completely forgot. But this is called MARC, and it's beautiful nude. It just works beautifully, so, so gorgeous. I can't go over how beautiful that nude is. I was so glad when I rediscovered it. I've then got Gerard Cosmetics Vintage Rose. So if I'm just wanting a bit of a pinkier look, just something a little bit different because I do wear nudes most of the time. I've got that in there. And then I've got Max Mocha. So this is a bit of a deeper brownie nude. It's a bit deeper than what I'm wearing today. This is Clinique's Blushing Pop, um, the matte version. And I love the smell of matte lipstick. Oh. <laughs> My face just went so weird. Um, but this is a lovely sort of, again, brown in the nude, in the nude family. Only a couple more bits left to go in the bag. So in the side pockets at the front, which I showed you earlier. Yeah, in the front pockets that I showed you earlier, I carry the house keys with the lovely E key ring on it. That's a little, like a little Scrabble letter. I just love it. I thought it was really cute. Um, I'd prefer in a paracetamol, you know, always got to have them, haven't you? And then my holy grail lip gloss. I know I recently, I know I did the ride or die about six months ago and I featured a NYX lip gloss in that, but this has just blown it out of the water. This is the Gerard Cosmetics Color Your Smile Lip Gloss in Nude. And it's such a beautiful color. I love that also on the packaging, you have a mirror and then in the applicator, you have a light. So you can put it on in the dark without a problem. I just, oh, love this. This and the Laura Geller. Balance Bright and I just cannot live without. Everything else can kind of interchange a little bit at the moment, but those two products I just cannot, cannot do without. In the other front pocket, I'm gonna wriggle it out. I've got my rail card because I'm always getting trains everywhere. And then I've also got a NYX Intense Butter Gloss in, what is this one? Chocolate Crepe. And this is just a bit deeper than the Gerard Cosmetics if I want a slightly darker, richer look if I'm going a bit more dressy. Um, not much left in here now. Of course, I've always got my Tangled Teaser. I love this guy. It works so beautifully on the hair. Always got it in my handbag because my hair is big, it's messy, and I always need to brush it because it always looks like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. Hey ho. Up next, umbrella. Always have an umbrella. I live in England. It's always raining here. Always carry an umbrella, and this little gem is from Primark. Good old Primark. Um, one of the final things I've got in here is this is actually a little shopper bag because if you're watching outside of the UK, in the UK we have this thing called the 5p bag charge where if you go into a shop and you want a plastic bag you have to pay 5p for it. So I always carry a little shopper bag. This one is from Marks and Spencers and it just folds out into a lovely green shopping bag like so. Pack of mints. I always have a pack of mints. Everyone 
knows, all of my friends know, I will always have a pack of mints and sweets in my bag. I just do, just can't, just, I just do. And finally, a pen. You always need a pen. Always have a pen in your bag. Just trust me, you always need a pen in your bag. And I think that is it. That is it for what is in my handbag, aside from a couple of feminine hygiene products, which I don't really need to get out and show you guys. I'm pretty sure most people know what they look like. But yeah, so that was everything that lives in my handbag. I really hope you guys enjoyed getting a little bit nosy and looking through my stuff. I definitely enjoyed filming this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!